So when I look at this tree, I always feel like it should start out with towards the night before Christmas <laughs> and all through the house. Doesn't it look like the beginning of a children's Christmas story? It's so rich and happy and colorful and saturated and pretty and warm and homemade in its feel. I just love it. So this is done in traditional reds and greens, whites and silvers, but what adds the pop are these peach ornaments. These are one of our European ornaments, European glass, all handmade by artisans in Europe. And you're going to get six of them in this beautiful peach with the soft gold and the sugar beads at the top. Love those. We also have this set in the green. This is also European glass. Aren't they beautiful? You're gonna get three in the high polish with that beautiful sugar beading on top and then three in the mat with the sugar beading on top. Love those. Also, in the European glass, we have the red. This looks like fireworks to me. Three in the high polish and three in the mat. Aren't they beautiful? Then we have this beautiful, beautiful ornament and it looks like a Christmas sweater. I think that's the sweetest thing ever. Six of those, because those are also European glass. But we also have other beautiful glass pieces like these really beautiful vintage looking pieces with the reflector in the front. I love those. We have this beautiful glass bell in the white glass with the silver. Oh my gosh, so elegant, so pretty. Then we have these larger ornaments in a set of six. This is gonna be white. How beautiful is that? Two in the white, two in the green. And the green have that kind of pyramid matte finish. And then coming around, two in that ribbed red with the silver glitter. Aren't they gorgeous? One of the things I think that also really, really makes this, oh my gosh, I can't get enough of these peach ornaments, I have to say. Uh, one of the things I think really makes the tree of this icicles, and I love the icicles. I love that they swirl and they catch the light, and so you really see them on the tree and they don't disappear. Aren't they the prettiest? They just make it. It's so interesting. I put them on at the last minute and thought, oh my gosh, those are perfect. So I love the icicles. I love these little sizal cardinals. We have them in three different sizes. This guy's a medium. The smallest one you can hang is an ornament. The medium and the large just sit. Very, very simple. In fact, just to show you how simple they are. Isn't that pretty? And you just set them right there. He's the medium. And then... There's another medium up there is also some of the smalls. And I'll show you a large one a little bit later on. This red, this red berry garland really creates the movement in the tree and it defines the tree. It's very lush, it's very full. All of these greens, so the pine greens, different tones of greens, glitter, what looks like, you know, crystals for ice, the different sizes of the holly berries, all of these, even these, are all part of the same garland. And I used four of them on the tree and they are absolutely amazing. I added some of these beautiful branches with the sparkle berries. We have these in red and burgundy. And these are beautiful because they add the glitter and the sparkle and they're really, really stunning. So I love those as part of the garland and I also love them just on a branch. So here they are once again with the cardinal and the candle. Look how pretty those are. I just think they're so sweet. So I think those really add a lot. Oh, let me show you. There's a large cardinal. Hello, Mr. Cardinal. <laughs> and here is a large star. So this is a set of four stars and you can see them all over the tree. That was the largest, here's the smallest. They just hang very easily. You can hang them on a wall, in front of a mirror, um, inside or on top of a wreath, on a door, as another wreath, whatever you wanna do. Here's all four of them together and I just hung them haphazardly on the Starburst tree topper because I wanted to give it that homemade feel, which I think it definitely does. And the rest I placed around the tree. There's gonna be so many different ways 
that you can use those stars. They are fabulous, fabulous, fabulous. I'm trying to see if there's anything I've missed on this tree. I do love the clip candles, the two different sizes of candles on this tree. I always use these whenever I can because I think they just make the tree. They are amazing. Now, if you're gonna have a warm, beautiful tree, don't you wanna have a warm, beautiful fireplace at the bottom of it? This is one that um, is just for looks. So it gives you the ambiance of the fire and it runs on batteries or it plugs in, so completely up to you. But I love it because the size means it'll go absolutely anywhere. Then this looks like our cruise on the Rhine River in December 2022 because this is exactly what you would see in the Christmas markets in Germany. It's done in wood, it's different layers, so it has a beautiful 3D look. There's a light behind each of these houses, so when you look at it, it looks like the windows are lit up. The street lamps each have a light in them. The tree spins around. There's a little person with presents. Here's a little person snowboarding. There's a little snowman. Look at the little fence and the snow on the trees and the detail painted in and this beautiful kind of bridge mountainscape with the ski chalets and all the lights lit up. I mean, the workmanship is amazing. That is so beautiful and so European. And that's exactly what we're gonna see when we're at the Christmas markets in December, 2022, which is gonna be amazing. Then we have the cute little snowman skier. Wait for him. Look how cute he is. He has his little wooden skis on. Like if, yeah, he's kind of an Olaf, if Olaf skied. <laughs> he's adorable. I just think he's so cute. And then for a few other ideas, go under your tree or anywhere in the house. Look at this beautiful set of book boxes. They all stack and you start out with Holly Jolly to the first Noel to the 25 days of Christmas. Oh, Christmas trees, silent night, jingle bells. These all nest inside the largest one. How amazing is that set of book boxes? And then this beautiful centerpiece that matches the garland on the tree. So this is beautiful on its own, but it's also gonna be gorgeous if you wanna use it in the same area as the garland because they do match beautifully. And here you really get an idea for all the different types of greenery and the berries and how rich and how lush it is. Isn't that beautiful? So I would say this looks like a child who can't go to sleep on Christmas Eve because they're waiting for Santa. Isn't that the prettiest tree? It was the night before Christmas. <laughs> is exactly what it looks like. But it looks like someone is gonna have a great Christmas.